on my right yeah my right and then i'll be applying this on my left so we're going to like compare i found peace in your violence can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel happy new year <laughs> happy new year if you're new year my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja today's video is a product review so i'll be reviewing two beautiful sunscreen which are dear to my heart like i love this sunscreen so much i'll be reviewing i'll be comparing both of them and now you guys will now have to pick which one you like I'll, I'll be rating them and then i'll also be giving my honest opinion about this sunscreen this sunscreen is very good if you have if you're acne prone or you have an oily skin so this sunscreen are the nivea super water gel sunscreen and thin aqua uv super moisture gel this i'll leave a picture somewhere just in case you can't so this is a skin aqua uv super moisture gel sunscreen and then the nevia super water gel sunscreen i also leave a picture of this i'll be comparing these two sunscreen and i'll be telling you my honest opinion about this sunscreen so if that's what you want to see in this video let's just get right into the video so first we're going to talk about the similarities and differences about this sunscreen basically this is in a bloom plastic container bottle anything you can call it then this is in a white and golden i think this golden cap or whatever bottle so yes this is the nivea is in a blue bottle why the skin aqua is in a white bottle yes and that thing they are both japanese sunscreen you get they are both japanese sunscreen so and the next thing is they both have a stopper so this one just this this thing so they both have a stopper and then this one zone is this see they both have a stopper so this just prevents it from spilling so it's very very comes in very handy if you want to travel so it's very travel friendly because without this stopper if you press is going to like open up and spill so because of this stopper it just prevents it from spilling in your in your bag or anywhere you're carrying it so this stopper comes in very handy especially if you're going to be traveling with this sunscreen so they both have stoppers which i love so much because i've traveled with them and they, they didn't spill in my bag so yes they both have stopper they are both spf 50 so they are both broad spectrum sunscreen spf like broad spectrum spf so they are both spf 50 the only difference is that the Nivea is SPS 50, SPF 50 PA plus plus plus. So the Nivea has triple pluses in when it comes to the PA. Triple pluses. Why the skin aqua is the skin aqua is SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So four pluses. So this one is a bit higher when it comes to the SPF. The skin aqua is a bit slightly maybe two percent or just two percent or three percent higher than the nivea but they are both broad spectrum xpf that means they both contain that means they can block both the uv and the uv beam rays so it's not something that should be um you get so they are both broad spectrum just that this is a bit higher than this that's what you should just keep in mind when put so the next thing we're going to talk about is size so both of them are 140 gram and they are they are they are quite big like sunscreen can actually last up to three weeks to a month even with the two hours to three hours application constant application during the day you get a decent amount of sunscreen from this like why will i be buying a 50 ml sunscreen it don't it will not last for me so why am i getting it so these two you will get a very decent amount of sunscreen so if you're looking for a sunscreen that will last for you maybe two weeks so three weeks to so like a month you should try getting this sunscreen also this one has this um, skin by aqua has a smaller version this i'll leave a picture this is 110 you get 110 gram of product from this which is still a decent amount this can last for two 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 to three weeks this will last for you so if you don't they are both the same thing like this is like the junior brother of this 
to get they are all both the same thing so this is just the smaller version of this one but me i prefer buying this one but the nivea doesn't have a a smaller one it only comes in this size it doesn't have any smaller one it only comes in this i'm not aware if there is i shall let you guys know but this is price so it depends on where you buy your skincare from you get this between seven thousand to ten thousand in naira like naira seven thousand to ten thousand naira depending on where you buy your sunscreen on. some people can sell it eleven thousand you can get twelve thousand that's why i say depending on the vendor you're purchasing this sunscreen from you can get it between seven thousand to ten thousand basically i don't know and you know the way dollar and naira is not i don't understand dollar is going up naira is flying so but by the time you even watch this video <laughs> it might be fifteen thousand. don't come for me and drag my neck but shot around that range seven to ten thousand or more okay let's put it like that or more you can get it around that range but it's what it is what the product you get from it anyway so for consistency we're starting with the skin by aqua this particular one is white in color is lightweight it's very watery it's watery runny it contains you, you can smell the alcohol when you apply it as in it has a lot of alcohol in it so you can perceive the alcohol just in case you don't like alcohol in your sunscreen this is what you should be worried about he has alcohol it's lightweight is white in color it's runny you get it then for the nivea it is creamy in color it's very very lightweight very lightweight it's as if you're applying a gel on your on your face they are both cooling when you apply on the face yes it's very lightweight it doesn't really have a scent even if it has just little alcohol scent to it not so much very very watery when you apply your sunscreen ideally you should be using a two finger method you're meant to be using one third teaspoon that's one over three teaspoon you're going to see it on my skin you know you now judge if it leaves a white cast or not so i'll be applying this on my right yeah my right and then i'll be applying this on my left so i'll be using a teaspoon for the application of this sunscreen just because it's watery and i don't want to mess up this whole video do you get so we're going to be starting off with this skin by aqua don't forget on my right face so yes let's let's do that so we're going to apply it so just half of my face don't forget your neck your ear your eyes you get so apply it so we allow this to i think i applied a lot just uh i applied a lot because i'm using like half of my face but i just wanted to use the ideal the ideal measurement for your face so we're going to be applying the nivea on my left so let's take the nivea measurement too So as you can see the nivea is just like like a gel that's how we apply it like, can you see like it's so lightweight like at least this one is white you can see that it's white you can actually see that it's white but this is like a gel so don't forget your eyes your ear your neck so you can see the texture right? basically let's allow this sunscreen to dry down you can see the finished look of this sunscreen and then i'll come back and give you my experience so far with this sunscreen so this is the finished look so this is the nivea on my left so you can see no white cast whatsoever and this is the skin aqua on my right no white cast whatsoever so nivea skin by aqua skin aqua <laughs> skin aqua so yes yeah, so i'll be telling you my experience they are both light with the nivea and the skin aqua are both light with but this is more light with which is the nivea the nivea is more light with now they are when on application to the skin they feel very cooling you know get this very cooling sensation for both of them 
then this has alcohol like when you're applying it you will perceive the alcohol in this one this one has a little bit compared to this this one's alcohol is stronger than this one so yeah the skin skin aqua has alcohol in it this has but little but this one is stronger skin aqua is stronger they both don't leave any white cast on the face as you guys saw in the view my you can see my skin already so no white cast they don't sting the eye you saw me applying it on my eye area so <laughs> if they were stinging the eye i would have been shouting by now so they don't sting the eye both of them yes they don't sting the eyes they don't leave any white scars another plus for both sunscreens that they melt into the skin like the skin just absorbs the sunscreen in as much as in this video i used a lot so basically maybe that's why but it doesn't take so long for it to like settle into the skin and absorb this like it's lightweight so it sink into the skin immediately you get don't you don't have to blend 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 no it's not the sunscreen yes with that said and done let's read them for me this is my experience i'll give it a 10 over 10 just because he has broader spectrum of uv protection not like the nivea is bad but this i'm going to give it a 10 over 10 it gives you a semi matte finish not mm. not matte 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 you get a semi matte finish from this a soft matte from this year that's what you get from this sunscreen so for this i'll give it a 9 over 10 just because um the skin just because the skin by aqua has a higher uv protection compared to this but it's not significant i think it's just two percent or three percent so it's not really that significant but we're comparing to the <laughs> then another thing is the reason for nine over ten is this has it still leaves a, a semi-matte finish but it's it gives you this shine this gives a semi-matte finish this gives a semi-matte finish with a touch of glow i don't know do you understand i don't even know what to say <laughs> but isha gives a semi-matte finish with a touch of glow why this just gives a semi-matte finish do you understand it still makes your skin glow but not as much as this so if maybe i don't know you shall enjoy so if you don't see this in the, in the market you can go for this they are like options so if you don't see this one you can go for this if you don't see this you can go for this but just know that this will give you a touch of glow like this healthy skin which i like though but maybe some people might not like it this just gives you a semi matte finish yeah i hope this video was helpful so leave in the comment section which of this sunscreen for my review is your best basically i don't even have a best i love both of them but i just gave a rating because i have to give a rating so yes this is it so leave in the comment section i would like to go i'll go through the comment section and know which one is your best sunscreen don't please if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and also if you enjoyed this video if you want more product reviews like this more sunscreen comparison more product comparison please just let me know in the comment section so i can work on some things i have little products eh? so i can compare some products and let you guys know so yeah come to the end of the video thank you so so much for sticking around to the end i really appreciate thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye bye room 21 10 i knocked on the door at the penthouse suite because i needed more from you